find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by the curves y equals x and y equals x square <coughs> about the line y equals negative 2. So we need to graph these two curves. So let me graph over here. y equals x just an identity line and y equals x square a parabola okay it's not a nice one but it just works okay y equals x square and this is zero how about this you've seen this before x and x square are equal when x equals 1 this is 1 this is also 1 now we want to rotate this region about the line y equals negative 2 so negative 2 is in negative 1 negative 2 okay so we want to rotate this region about y equals negative 2 then we take a sample, we, we want to write, we want to take a sample slice, slice perpendicular, okay, perpendicular to the axis of rotation. So this will have a small width delta x. That means the formula will be in terms of x. So the volume, final volume will be the area of the sample cross section dx and x goes from this sample look at this cross section this could be taken anywhere in between 0 and 1 okay this is the area of sample cross section could be disc or washer we'll see in a moment now when we rotate this sample cross section this slice in fact this slice about y then we get outside it will be a circle and from inside there will be another circle so we have in fact a washer okay the outer and inner and y equals negative 2 that's the axis of rotation now to find the area of this washer we need to find the outer radius so from the axis all the way to outer curve uppercase r outer radius and inside lower radius okay so r will be from here to all the way to the outer curve upper curve in this case upper curve is y equals x on this region okay so here to here this distance is always 2 this is 2 and from there to all the way that's y the vertical distance is always y so 2 plus y and y is given by this identity line y is x so this uh, this radius outer radius is 2 and x 2 plus x how about inner radius same thing here to here this is always 2 plus uh, inner means this lower curve here which is x square so 2 plus y this vertical distance is y and y is given by x square so 2 plus x square so for this washer the outer radius is 2 plus x and inner radius is 2 plus x square then we can find the area of this washer area it will be in terms of x that's pi r square that gives everything minus pi r square that gives inside we need to subtract the area of this hollow part which is let's find it pi pi we can pull pi outside factor out r square 2 plus x quantity square minus r square 2 plus x square quantity square let's simplify pi 2 plus x square multiply 2 plus x by its, itself you get 4 plus 4x plus x square minus 
multiply 2 plus x square by itself 2 plus x square multiply by 2 plus x square and when we distribute plus everything will be plus and when we distribute negative so all three terms will have negatives that will be 4 4 x square and x to the fourth minus x4 four. these all negatives coming from this form and we can combine couple of terms i believe 4 cancel 4x no x square minus 4x square so pi is outside uh, 4x is just 4x x square minus 4x square minus 3x square minus x fourth okay this is the area of our sample cross section washer then the volume that we are interested in is given by the antiderivative definite integral of this and we know we already know the sample cross section could go from this cross section could go from 0 to 1 I mean, this is the formula so 0 to 1 of this area pi 4x minus 3x square minus x to the fourth dx let's find this definite integral pi can be pulled outside uh, let's find the antiderivative of each term 4x that is 4 times x square over 2 so 2x square minus 3 times x 3 over 3 so just x cubed minus x 5 over 5 so you want to find the antiderivative now evaluate at 1 minus evaluate 0 Okay, so pi is outside evaluate this function for 1 minus evaluate this for 0 everything becomes 0 so we don't have to worry about lower limit just plug in 1 for x so 2 times 1 is square is 2 minus 1 cube 1 minus 1 fifth is 1 1 raised to 5 is 1 fifth so pi 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 fifth is 4 fifths so the final answer is 4 pi over 5 or 4 fifths pi cubic units final